There's some debate among Christians about whether it is necessary to wait until marriage before having sex, but often we just focus on the outward behavior and ignore the heart of the issue. Throughout the Bible, God compares his relationship to us to that of a marriage. The idea is that Jesus seeks intimacy with his bride, the church, the fullness of all believers. But in order to enter into that intimacy, God saw that it was necessary to lay his life down, to die for us. And if his relationship with us is like that between a married couple, then we should love our spouses with the same level of love. We should be willing to lay our lives down for them. And this level of love should be honored even before we meet them. I'm Aaron Crowley, author of Bought with the Price, a gay Christian's memoir from Porn Sets to Love, releasing May 22nd, 2021, and available for pre-order right now on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and most other online bookstores. When I was in the porn industry, I thought sex was just a simple physical act. I had even been raped, and I tried to brush it off as just sex. But the emotional consequences became too hard to ignore. Being raped, being in porn, and being just generally promiscuous left me heartbroken, depressed, and suicidal. But when I encountered the love of Jesus, the idea that I am worth dying for began to transform my heart. I now see sex as something intimate and meaningful. So I left the porn industry and began to wait until marriage. I decided that I'm worth more than a casual moment or a short-term relationship, and I'm worth far more than what money can buy. I am worth dying for. And if someone wanted sexual intimacy with me, then I expected them to lay their life down for me. If they were willing to wait until marriage with me, then they valued me with their life. The whole point of Christianity is love, but not the common love that is known in this world. The love of Jesus is supernatural. That's why a Christian's love should look different than the rest of the world's. Supernatural love is also called being sanctified or set apart. And the Bible says, this is the will of God, your sanctification that you abstain from sexual immorality, that each one of you know how to control his own body in holiness and honor, not in the passion of lust, like the Gentiles, non-believers, who do not know God. It is the will of God that the sex lives of Christians look different from the rest of the world. Our sex lives should be more loving, supernaturally loving. And throughout the word of God, it is expected that believers express romantic love by waiting until marriage before having sex. Obviously, I wasn't a virgin on my wedding night, but waiting until marriage is not about virginity. It's about love. It's about honoring the true value and dignity of another human being. And that is not determined by virginity. And if we've made a mistake, then all we have to do is repent, turn to the Lord and begin to walk in his supernatural love. But how is that possible? How could any human live by such high standards of love? Here's a hint, a fruit of the spirit is self-control. But we'll talk more about that next week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And don't forget to check out Bought with a Price, a gay Christian's memoir from Porn Sets to Love, available for pre-order through most online bookstores.